All right, so I got another video for you today. I am up in North Central Pennsylvania. Specifically, I just got into the PA Grand Canyon Pine Creek Gorge. This is probably my favorite uh, dual hiking and fishing trip, really in the entire state of Pennsylvania. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna hop on a little trail. We're gonna hike down into the gorge. We're gonna fish Big Pine Creek for some uh, holdover stock and or wild, especially because it's fall. Uh, trout on Big Pine Creek. Then we're going to hit up a little tributary, mainly for some uh, native PA brook trout. Uh, this is a wonderful time of year to be out. As you can see, the leaves are just starting to change colors. We got yellows, we got reds, we got oranges, we still got greens. Um, it's a little bit crowded. It is a Sunday. I'm really hoping uh, nobody is fishing ahead of me because uh, if that was the case, that would pretty much. Whoa, whoa, bro. Jeez, that guy almost hit me. Anyway, so, um, yeah, hopefully no one's fishing ahead of me. Otherwise, this is going to be garbage. But, um, yeah, let me get up to uh, this trailhead. We'll hike down in the gorge. We'll fish Big Pine. We'll fish this little tributary. I am going to use my spinning rod. I have had a string of failures uh, with my fly rod. Like, the last, like, seven times I fly fished, I either caught no fish or maybe one or two. So we're definitely going with spinning rod, single barbless hooks, um, really excited can't wait to get out uh, so yeah let's see what happens all right we're just getting out to this really sick vista view um, just to sort of put it into perspective I know I've done other videos here in the past not quite as ethical as you're about to see but oh almost fell um, yeah so essentially we're gonna hike down into there um, man that is so beautiful all right so just getting on the trailhead only saw one other car in the parking lot, so I'm going to be very self-conscious about talking out loud on the GoPro as I go down this trail. Anyways, it's a beautiful, beautiful little path that leads down to Pine Creek, so I'll show you some of the highlights along the way. All right, so finally made it down to Big Pine Creek. Took me a little longer than I expected. I got stuck behind a, you know, a couple that was walking a little slower, a little slower, they're way over there. And it was one of those things where I tried to like speed up and politely go around them, but like, I don't know if they know trail etiquette or something, but they would not like let me go around them. And you saw how narrow the path was. So yeah, definitely took me a lot longer to get down. That's okay. Pine Creek is running a little high, but that's okay. Definitely blazing. We got some rain last night. Water's definitely blazing. See if there's anything lurking. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Nice one. I think that's a brown. I think that'll be a brown. Oh, no. Ah, single barbless hook. Well, that's beat. That's super beat. First trout. We lost him. Damn it. I won. Ooh. Oh, God. All right, so that'll be the second trout that we missed on Big Pine in the first, like, five minutes, dude. That's so beat. God. All right, so we definitely missed the first, you know, two trout of the day. Um, that happens. I just got around to the two slow-walking jabronis who... We're walking really slow on the trail. That's fine, that's fine. So pushing downstream a little bit, big pines over there. Fish are definitely biting and they definitely like what I'm throwing. Um, so we're gonna get back out there and we're just gonna see what happens. They don't lose this one. Oh no, oh no. I was so excited because I thought it was a big trout. That's like a 10 inch fall fish. That's disappointing, so we're gonna get him out of here. I, I hate fall fish. All right, so we are leaving Big Pine Creek behind. Quite a disappointment. We really just wanna wipe that from our memory. Um, Pine Creek usually does not disappoint. Today it did. We hooked and lost a brown and rainbow trout and also caught a big ugly fall fish. So 
all in all, uh, awful experience on Big Pine. However, um, we do have one, hopefully, saving grace, and that is this gorgeous, gorgeous, um, small tributary stream. So, we're gonna push in a little ways. I have like a, I'd probably say a one or two mile section of this stream that we're gonna fish. This is like as clean, pristine as you're gonna get. Um, it is primarily brook trout. There may be a couple wild browns in the mix, but mainly brookies. We're using small single barbless hook spinners. Super ethical, so yeah, let me get out on this gorgeous little tributary and we'll start catching trout, hopefully. All right, so the streak is continuing. I just had a uh, nice little speckled trout and we lost him. We lost that speckled trout, so that's, that's great. Um, I don't know what's uh, going on with me today, but I cannot seem to land these fish. Got him, got him, got him. Let's get him in the net, let's get him in the net. All right, let's get the hook at him, take a look at him, awesome. All right, so we're reviving this, probably like seven, six or seven inch, beautiful. We're going with speckled trout today, that's what we're calling them. Got this beautiful speckled trout, a lot of energy. So we're gonna get him pretty much right out of here. Let's get him out of here. All right, he's out of here. We got our second speckled trout right after the first. A little bit smaller, not even gonna net him. Single barbless hook, we're gonna get him right out of here. Hold on, bud, hold on. Hold on, bud. Get you out of here. Single barbless hook, seamless, seamless release. Beautiful, beep, beep, beep. Get out of here. Get out of here. Awesome, so that was back to back, two in a row. Things are starting to heat up, although it is, it's actually pretty cold out. Oh, got one, got one, got one. Didn't even know it. He's fighting pretty hard. He's fighting pretty hard. Get him over these rocks. All right. All right. Nice little, uh, I'm really trying to make speckled trout happen. Wet my hands. Wet my hands. Oh, going to get this single barbless hook right out of him. Hold on, bud. Hold on. I got you. Right out of him. Butte. Get out of here. Get out of here, bud. All right. Yeah, I'm really trying to make speckled trout happen. I think that's what the Canadians call it. Not that we should be importing really like any ideas from Canada. I digress. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really trying to make speckled trout happen, at least today. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, he's fighting, dang son. He's fighting pretty hard. Is that a brown? Oh my gosh, we got a wild brown. Call me the man, oh no, <laughs> oh God. Oh, I'm such a loser. Damn it. All right, well, that's, we saw him. I mean, that doesn't count as a catch because I didn't put him in the net or touch him. Well, there's wild browns in here, that's for sure. Not a lot, but they are here. And we almost had one. Wow, I feel like such a loser. So what I'm using today, if you can see it, I, I never know where it's at, is just a, a smaller size two Panther Martin, uh, gold blade, the black and yellow body. I pinched down the barbs myself. Um, I'm trying to teach my dog to do it, you know, like pinch down the barbs for me because it wastes so much of my time because I'm such an ethical fisherman, but he is just a dumb, dumb dog. I'm kidding. Our dog is very smart. He's, a, he's like half black lab, half German shepherd, so really a smart dog but yeah he has not figured out yet how to pinch down the barbs on my hooks but we're we're working on it you know we're work, working on it. i think it's because he has paws as opposed to like ambidextrous fingers I, I don't know we'll figure it out anyways that's what i'm using today very simple these uh speckled trout really uh are eager eager biters like if i was this tall or whatever and was swimming in the water, they would eat me. They would, they would, they would not care that I was a, you know, honey, I shrunk the kid type human being. They would just eat me. So they are vicious, vicious creatures. We're getting up to probably the tallest waterfall, I would say maybe, um, but you can't fish under it. There's not really any pool. 
we got to go up and around it, which um, is not as easy as it sounds. It's actually a laborious process. This is one of, I think, three waterfalls you have to sort of go up and around. So we are going to do that gorgeous waterfall. You can see there's all these trees down kind of in front of it, marring the view. But I'd say it's still really great, you know, from my perspective. So that's that's what we have in front of us. All right, so we just made it up around this, uh, I'd say probably like what, 20 foot, 25 foot waterfall, probably 20. Um, one thing I wanted to say is, and you could probably tell just by the content from some of my videos, I love North Central Pennsylvania. Um, not only for the fishing, you know, wonderful uh, wild and native and stock trout fishing, um, but also, you know, the people, the culture, the geography, the scenery, all of those other things. But it doesn't, it doesn't get the same, it doesn't have the same name recognition as like, you know, like the Poconos or, you know, like the Catskills or um, Adirondacks, you know, as far as like mid-Atlantic, northeastern areas. Um, but it is really wonderful. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to keep pushing. I'd love to catch a couple more trout. Uh, it's been a little while since we actually netted one. So that's the plan. Just got a little guy, not even going to net him. Not even going to net this little guy. Oh, I'm trying to skip all the smaller pools to avoid the smaller fish and really just focus on the bigger pools. That's okay. Oh, let him go, let him grow. Let him go, let him grow. Oh, wonderful cast. As long as I don't get stuck on a leaf. Huh, nothing. I thought that was like a guaranteed. <laughs> I thought that was a. That was funny. I thought that was like a guaranteed uh, trout right there. Ooh. Oh, son of a, son of a gun, son of a gun. That felt like a good one. We're still looking for the big one, like the eight, nine, ten inch. Ten's kind of pushing it, but eight or nine inch speckled speckled trout. That's what we're looking for. a little better a little better beautiful beaut 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 let's get him out of here Woo. That's a fish. Ooh, that's decent. Not huge, but definitely one of the bigger ones today. Get him in the net. Oh, he's, he's, oh, hold on. Whew. All right, that's probably the second biggest today. So let's get the hook at him, take a look at him. Awesome. So from experience, there's definitely bigger native rookies, speckled trout, I'm sorry, in this stream. But this is a pretty nice one. I'm gonna say seven inches. Yeah, oh, jeez. All right, well, I wanted to put him back in his hole. Uh, he plopped directly out of my hands. I apologize for that. Um, so, yeah, that was like the second best one. That was probably about seven, seven and a half inches, we'll say. Oh, got him. Got him. Another brookie. Not a lot of browns in here. Really surprised there's not more browns. Hold on, bud. We'll get you out of here. We'll get you out of here, bro. Hold on. It's actually a decent, it's actually a decent one. One of the better ones I've caught today. Wet my hands, wet my hands. Hold on, hold on. And he popped out, but I did touch him, so that does count. I think that's speckled trout number, geez, I don't know, like eight? I lost count, but that's okay. We're not, we're not really worrying about the numbers today. Not really worrying about the numbers today. As you can see, the best hole and best waterfall right ahead uh, so we're gonna go fish that big hole then i gotta figure out how i get around this it's like a weird whoops a daisy anyway so yeah let me go hit that and then we'll keep going oh so there's probably dozens of trout in this hole um it's actually pretty big i'm not gonna get too close but it's probably i don't know six or seven feet deep really big of course 
there's like trees in it. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Just got a nice one. Oh, got him. Beautiful colors on this trout. So let's get the hook at him and take a look at him. Awesome. All right, we're going to put this trout right back in his hole. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Probably about seven or eight inches. Woo! Beautiful. Pew, pew, pew. Woo! Awesome. Right back to his hole. Got one more from this hole. Just a little guy. Missed a couple monsters. Absolute monsters. Wet my hands. Hands are wet. Single barbell hook right out of them. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. Oh, God. This is the stuff they don't, they don't show you on YouTube, right? The bushwhacking. All the actual, you know, all the actual work. Blah, blah. God. This is like watching Jeremy Wade take a shit. Ugh. Made it up over the falls. That is challenging. That is challenging. All right, so if I remember, if I recall correctly, um, if I recall correctly, I um, have about, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a mile, half a mile, something like that, probably less. Um, but about like, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 minutes-ish of fishing left until I break off to hike up to a road. So uh, yeah, we're gonna keep fishing. We'll see what happens. Got him. Got him. Got him. Hold on, bud. Hold on. We'll get you out of here. We'll get you out of here. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice one. Wow. That's like, probably like seven inches. Jeez. Maybe six, who knows. Oh, that's a beaut. That's a beaut. Probably about six inches. Woo! Get out of here. Get out of here. Awesome. All right, so I think that's all the fishing I'm gonna do. I have this absolutely brutal hike like up the side of a mountain until I get to like a access road, which will subsequently take me back to my car. So I'm gonna wait and do the wrap up then, bear with me. All right, so with a beautiful view of the mountains, let's quick wrap up. We fished um, a gorgeous uh, tributary stream in the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon, beautiful freestone stream managed to catch probably i'd say 11 12 uh speckled trout brook trout um over the course of really just like two hours unfortunately no fish on big pine aside from aside from a fall fish that's fine so that's all we got for today thank you for watching hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time